we know that the combination of diastolic and systolic dysfunction of the left ventricle is associated with increased mortality. However, few prognostic data exist regarding the effect of diastolic dysfunction alone. Now in the archives of internal medicine, researchers report on patients with normal systolic function, but varying degrees of diastolic dysfunction, and the outcome of such patients is indeed not favorable. The researchers reviewed echoes of more than 36,000 patients with normal systolic function and diastolic dysfunction. During an average follow-up time of six years, almost 6,000 deaths occurred, and the unadjusted mortality rate was higher in patients with worsening degrees of diastolic dysfunction. However, in statistical analysis, using propensity matching techniques, only moderate and severe diastolic dysfunction were associated with an increased mortality risk. The conclusion is straightforward. In patients with normal ejection fraction, moderate or severe diastolic dysfunction is an independent predictor of mortality. The good news is that mild diastolic dysfunction, although prevalent, does not affect survival rate. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.